Hi, I'm Jones, the vegan archaeologist, and welcome to my channel. This is the place where you can find delicious and healthy vegetarian and vegan recipes to serve to your family or to take on the go. I am a busy mom. In addition to having a YouTube channel and a blog, I am actually a full-time archaeologist. So I know what it's like to have to come up with some quick and easy and healthy and delicious recipes to put on the table to serve for your family as well as meals that you can take with you on the go for lunch or even for breakfast. The recipe I'm sharing with you today is one of my family favorites. It's pretty easy to make and it makes a great meal prep item. You can pack it up to go and heat it up in the microwave at work or your family can eat it for leftovers at home. So let's get started, shall we? We are going to start this recipe by making two egg replacer eggs. Egg replacer is really just a potato starch product and if you can't find this in the store I will leave a link in the description box below for where you can find some. And since we're making two eggs that takes three teaspoons of the starch and six tablespoons of water. I didn't do the full six tablespoons here, but trust me, it's in there. And then you stir it up really good to get rid of the lumps and it starts to gel up just a little bit. Then we are going to press some tofu. This is just to get the extra moisture out of the tofu and you can just wrap it up in a clean dish towel or some paper towels and then I usually put something heavy on top of it and let it sit for a few minutes. Then when the tofu is ready you just crumble it up into a large mixing bowl. Then I just start smashing it with a potato masher until I get it into a nice even crumbly texture. Then I add my two egg replacer eggs to the mixture, well, to the tofu, and then it becomes a mixture. Um, then I add my Dea mozzarella shreds. And all these ingredients replace what would normally be ricotta cheese and eggs and regular mozzarella, but I promise you it is just as delicious and way more healthy. So then I add some oregano and some fresh ground black pepper and a little salt and then some chopped basil that is from my garden of course. So while I was making the mixture I had some water boiling and I added some of these jumbo pasta shells. Uh, you can probably just pick these up in your local grocery store. Um, I don't know if they make a gluten-free brand but I'll look for one and link it below and when they're done you just want to drain them with a colander and then you're gonna start stuffing them. But first we need to get a layer of sauce into the pan. We want a layer of sauce on the bottom. And I'm just using an organic pasta sauce. I had a couple of different jars of leftover sauce left, so that's what I used here. And then you just take a large spoon and start scooping the tofu ricotta mixture into the shells one by one. Here's a close-up of how you do that. It's pretty easy but it does take a little bit of time because there are a lot of shells and you have to stuff each one so just be patient and if you have some kids or a friend or a partner around you can get them to help you. Kids love doing this stuff. Then when all those are done put another layer of sauce on top. Like I said I was just using leftovers so I didn't have very much but I spread it out a little bit and it worked just fine. And then I topped it all with some more Dea mozzarella shreds. You can use whatever kind of plant-based cheese shreds you like. Then I covered it with foil and put it in a 350 degree oven for 30 to 40 minutes. And while that was baking, I made a nice healthy salad to go with it um, with romaine lettuce and some purple cabbage, my favorite color. 
and some broccoli. I don't usually put broccoli in salads, but this night I just thought it sounded really good and I do love broccoli. Add some more cruciferous vegetables to this salad and then some thinly sliced green onions or scallions as some people like to call them. Mmm, this salad is looking so delicious and healthy and colorful. I also toasted some sliced almonds to put on top. I absolutely love the flavor of toasted nuts. Um, it just adds so much flavor and crunch and I've been trying to incorporate more nuts into my diet because they're so good for you. So just give the salad a toss and then we will add some homemade maple mustard dressing. Um, it's a really super easy and low fat recipe that I will leave in the description box below. And there is our fantastic vegan stuffed pasta shells. Can it get any better? These are just so good. You're going to absolutely love them. Just looking at this footage is really making me want some of this. This has really become one of my family staples. I mean, I've been making some version of it since I was a kid and I just love the fact that it's one of my family's favorite meals because it's one of my favorites too. So I added a little bit of the salad dressing to the salad and some nutritional yeast on top. And there is a really healthy and satisfying meal that the whole family just loves. And I think your family is really going to love it too. And like I said, it makes a really great meal prep item because you can just easily heat it up as leftovers on a night when you don't want to cook or take it to work for lunch the next day. I hope you liked this video and I really hope you give the recipe a try. Remember to check out my blog, vegerarchy.com, for the full recipe that you can print out. And be sure to subscribe and like this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.